Welcome to Lumion 9 Tutorial 10. In this tutorial, we will look at how to create animations of cars, people, birds, of the sun, of doors opening, and of clouds. Let's start with a street scene where we want to animate the cars and the people. Here is a city scene, a street, where this building needs to be shown in a compelling way. We'd like to have some cars driving in front of it on the road. How do we do that? First, we take a high position. Now let's place the cars. Select Category Transport. Click on Place, Mass Placement. Click on a car. Click on Point 1. Point 2. Set the line width. We have two rows of cars. Press Shift to have it more precisely done. Now add multiple car types by clicking on a new car in the library and then on the big plus button in the Mass Placement dialog box. Press OK. Now the same for the other direction. Add point one, point two. How do we animate this? Go to Movie, Go to FX, Scene and Animation, Mass Move. Click on Edit. We need to create a path which is a bit similar to the path we created for the placement of the cars, but now it's for animation. Click again. Make it wide enough to fit both lanes of the highway. All objects that are on this path will move. Here we can set the speed. Let's say 50 kilometers per hour. Recalculate path. Press OK. And now the cars are driving. You see what happens at the end of the four second animation. The car jumps to start, but also the cars that reach the end point, they just disappear and here they reappear. We need to do the same for cars in the other direction. Press Edit, press on Edit Path, click here. Click again, set the path width. Again, make sure that all the cars are at least on one of the two paths. Set the speed also at 50 kilometers per hour. Recalculate path, play. There are a few cars here that are not driving simply because their center point was not positioned on the path we created. We need to move those slightly more to the center. Let's go to the ground level. We can slightly increase the focal length. Take a photo. Take another photo. The animation was created for this clip, but we can copy paste it to the second clip. Copy. Paste. And now the cars are moving for this viewpoint as well. Instead of creating two separate animation paths, we could have used just one and make it two directional. Delete one of the two paths. Shift the other paths to the center of the road. Widen the path. Now set this property here to two directional. What seems to be missing in this night scene are the car lights. How do we quickly change that? Select all the cars. Here as a property to switch on the car lights. Now the car lights are on. We can extend the animation path of the cars to include turns. You can do that by selecting the path and then pressing down the control key. Click at a new spot and another one. The people on the other side of the street are walking in place, so we need to do a similar thing as we did for cars for the people. We could use also the mass movement system for that, but instead of that, let's use another type of animation, which is the normal move effect. 
This is the beginning point. We drag the end point of this particular person, and now she will walk from here to there. Let's look if this is really the case in the clip animation. There she walks. Similarly for the other people. Let's move them over there to make sure those paths are not crossing, because they might walk through each other. As long as the animation is just 4 seconds, this length of line should be sufficient. But you have to watch out that if you later on want to increase the animation length, all these paths need to be increased as well. Let's have a look again. All these people are walking nicely now for 4 seconds. Let's see how we could also use the mass move system for walking people. Disable the move effect. Open the mass move effect. Create a new path for the walking people. For flying objects like helicopters, the advanced move effect is most suitable. It allows you to set keyframe positions in three dimensions. Place a helicopter in the scene. The Build with Effects option comes in handy now, as we can position the helicopter in the view of this camera. Add Advanced Move Effect. Click on Edit. Select the helicopter. Make sure the time is set to zero on the timeline. Rotate the helicopter in the direction you want it to move. This way, you force a keyframe to be created. Move the time to the end position of the timeline slider. Click the Move Object button below the timeline. Move the helicopter to the desired spot using Shift-Drag to make it keep its height. Now the helicopter animates from the start to the end point during the animation. Here is an animation with more visual effects. Let's now have a look how we can animate a door during a video animation. The door in this house is part of the whole 3D model, so to animate it in Lumion, we first need to separate it. Reload the house where the door was taken out from. Click on the Alt key while clicking on Reload Model to use a separate model file. Export the door as a separate object, in Collada format, with the origin set at the rotation point. Import the door as a new object. Place it at the right location. Change the material. Copy material from here. How do we animate this? Let's say we want to make an animation where we start over here. We move over there through the door. And just before we enter the door, it needs to open. Go to Movie Mode. Click on Record. Set the first location. Move over there. The second location. Check if this animation looks OK. to create the door animation. Add the Advanced Move effect. Click on Edit. Click on the door. To insert a keyframe, rotate the door open and close again. Go to the animation timeline and check at which time the door needs to be open. 1.8 seconds from the start. Set the time slider of the advanced move effect also at 1.5 seconds, a little bit before the time the door needs to be completely opened. 
At this point, the door still needs to be closed. We need to force a keyframe to be created here, again by opening and closing the door. Within one second, the door needs to be opened. Set the time at 2.5 second. Open the door. Check the animation. If you now move closer at 1.5, it opens, and we move through the door. How can we liven up this scene with animated birds flying around? Go to People and Animals, Birds. There are a few bird types flying. Let's take the seagull. Place it. Move it up. It will fly around automatically. It makes a circle, sometimes crossing the point here. We need to make sure that it's high enough to fly above the house. We can replicate a few copies in the same plane and shift them away and up slightly. So now we have a group of birds circling above the house. You can create animations in other software programs and export them in FBX format to Lumion. Here you can see an animation of flying birds in a V-shape, shared by a Lumion user forum. The leaves that are blowing in the wind are also imported as an FBX animated object. How do we create cloud animation in Lumion? First, create a clip of the house with the clouds visible in the background. Now we add the effect sky and clouds. Then we create a keyframe for position number one by clicking on the Create Keyframe button. Now we move to the end of the video timeline slider and we set another keyframe. And we'll put the clouds at a completely different position. The camera moves slow, but the clouds move really fast. There are some other parameters that you could change as well. We could create the density, so you could start on position 1 with a low density. Create a keyframe. End up with a high cloud density. How does this look? Slowly, the density is increased. The same for other parameters. Any parameter here can be animated when you see a Create Keyframe icon on its right. The same we could do for the sun. We can start with the sun position over here, set a keyframe, and end at the sun position over here. So you can see the sun coming up. You can do the same with a sun and shadow study, like if you want to study the shadows of a house during different times throughout the day. If you go to sun study, you can set the exact geographic position where this house is located. Let's say it's in the Netherlands. You can set the time, let's say we want to start at 9 o'clock, and simulate the sun and shadows moving to 8 o'clock in the evening. What happens in the morning on the 21st of August on a sunny day? At the end of the clip, you want to show what you see in the evening. Add a keyframe at 8 o'clock in the evening. You see exactly how the shadows move. In some projects, you would like to show different design variations to a client in a very easy and convenient way. First, you select the house. At the top right corner, the property box comes up. It has a little icon that says Add Variation. It asks you to import the design variation. Here is the same house without the ramp, and here is the house with the ramp, so you can show it to your client in an interactive session with Lumion on your PC, or you can create a video animation and send this to the client. How do we do this? Go to Effects, Scene and Animation, Variation Control. 
we first need to set the object that has the variation that we want to change. Click here. Find a little dot of the object, which is located over here. Click on it. Press OK. Now we go to time is zero and we set a keyframe. That's the standard house. Halfway the animation, we want to change over. First, set a keyframe to still display the standard house here. Then quickly thereafter, we set another keyframe and we choose variation number two. It will change from one to two within between these two keyframes. Let's see how that works out. Here we change over. You could add a little camera animation if you like. How do we show or hide certain objects during an animation? The easiest way to do that is to put these objects in a separate layer and use the layer control effect in the animation to switch them on or off. Let's say these tree houses. You would like to show the forest with and then without these tree houses. We first move them to a different layer. Create a new layer called Tree Houses. Make that the active layer. Select the tree houses using Control drag a box, keep Control pressed, and click on this object to add it to the selection. Now we can press here this little icon, Move Selection to Layer, and switch off the layer by clicking here it looks like everything is indeed switched off. Now we go to the movie editor. We want to start without this treehouse and halfway, let's say after two seconds, switch them on. Go to FX, Scene and Animation, Layer Visibility. Set the first keyframe. We want to switch off layer 5 at the start. Now we want to move halfway. Layer 5 still needs to be switched off, and quickly thereafter we want to switch it on, and keep it on for the rest of the animation. Now the animation shows a good view of the forest with and without these tree houses. Say you would like to add some text to this video clip. There is a way to do that. Go to FX, Various, Titles. Type in your text. Choose a style, for example, Transparent Box. Set the Start at Percent, at which percentage of the video the text needs to be shown. And maybe show it for one second. Here's your resulting animation. This concludes Lumion 9 Tutorial 10 about animations.